Hi, I'm Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on Use Elastic Beanstalk Console to Configure a PHP Web Application Configure an environment for the web application Launch the web application Access the web application Update the web application And delete all created resources Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge, as creating a T2 Micro EC2 instance is free tier eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of Elastic Beanstalk concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign into the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. This step-by-step -step walkthrough will get you Launch an application with AWS Elastic Beanstalk. This step-by-step -step guide will help you get a sample PHP application up and running with AWS Elastic Beanstalk or EB. EB supports other languages besides PHP, such as Java, .NET, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Docker, and Go, but the focus of this tutorial will be on PHP. Other languages will follow the same process. You will first configure your EB application, then set up your EB environment where your application will be launched into. On the top navigation bar, select your nearest region. In this tutorial, we will be using a pre-built sample PHP application. To download the sample PHP application file, please click the following link. Sign in to the AWS Elastic Beanstalk console. Click on Create Application. Fill out the application name with PHP Sample App. For this walkthrough, we will be creating a web server environment for our sample PHP applications. For platform, select PHP. Under Application Code, select the Upload Your Code option, then click Choose File to select the sample PHP v1 zip file we downloaded earlier. Before moving on, double click on the PHP v1 zip file that you downloaded to your local machine to view the contents within. This will help you better understand what your zip file should look like when working with your own PHP application. PHP does not enforce a strict file structure for applications. Flat file structure will work fine. Click Create Application. Launching your application may take a few minutes.
accessing your Elastic Beanstalk application. Go back to the main Elastic Beanstalk dashboard page by clicking on Elastic Beanstalk. When your application successfully launched, your application's environment, PHP Sample App, will show up. Click on PHP Sample App ENV, which is your application's environment. At the top of the page, you should see a URL field. Click on this URL field, and you should see a congratulations page. Congratulations! You have successfully launched a sample PHP application using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Update your application code. Navigate to the directory where you downloaded the PHP v1 zip file. To unzip the PHP v1 zip file, right-click on the PHP v1 zip file, click Extract All, and then click Extract. Navigate into the newly unzipped PHP v1 directory. Open index.php using your favorite text editor. You will make a small edit here that is an example of an application change. Look on line 26 for H1 congratulations and tag H1. Replace congratulations with application updated in between the H1 and end H1 tags. Then save the index.php file overriding the original. Next, you will need to zip your application so it can be uploaded to AWS as an update package. Select all six items, including the .eb extensions directory. Right click on .eb extensions, select send to, and then click on compressed zip folder. Rename the newly created zip file to phpv2.zip. Upload your updated application to Elastic Beanstalk within the Elastic Beanstalk dashboard. Click on Applications. Select your application. Select your environment. Click on Application Versions. Click on Upload. Enter second release for version label. Then sample PHP app update for description. Click Browse, then navigate to the location where your PHP v2 zip file is located. Select the PHP v2 zip file, and then click Upload. You should now see second release within the application versions table. Check the box for second release, then click Actions, and then Deploy. You should see your environment defaulted to PHP Sample App ENV. Leave the default settings here, and click Deploy. Click Elastic Beanstalk in the top left-hand corner of the web page. Click PHP Sample App ENV under Recent Environments. 
Here, you can see a recent event section that displays your application being updated. Once you see environment update completed successfully within recent events, click on your application URL toward the center top of the screen to view your updated application. Uh-oh, so that didn't work out like we wanted to. All right, now let's go back to the index.php file and see what's wrong with our code. Open the index.php file again. Look at line number 26, which you edited. Uh-oh, looks like we forgot to put an angle bracket in there. There we go. Now you can save it. Now delete the php v2.zip file. The old one, by the way. Select all six items, including the .eb extensions directory. Right click on .eb extensions, select send to, and then click on compressed zipped folder. Rename the newly created zip file to phpv2.zip. On the Elastic Beanstalk console, click on Applications. Click on your application PHP sample app. Click on your environment PHP sample app ENV. Click on application versions. Click on upload. For version label, enter third release. And for description, enter sample PHP app update again. Click Browse, then navigate to the location where your PHP v2 zip file is located. Search v2 zip file and click Upload. You should now see third release within the application versions table. Check the box for third release, then click Deploy. You should see your environment defaulted to PHP sample app ENV. Leave the default settings here and click deploy. Click Elastic Beanstalk in the top left hand corner of the web page. Click Applications. Select your application PHP sample app. Select your environment PHP sample app ENV. Here, you can see a recent events section that displays your application being updated. Once you see environment update completed successfully within recent events, click on your application URL toward the center top of the screen to view your updated application. Congratulations! You have successfully updated your AWS Elastic Beanstalk application. Now that we're done with our walkthrough, we're going to terminate our environment. To delete your application and stop using the AWS resources associated with your application, access your Elastic Beanstalk application dashboard. Select your application, click Actions, and under Actions, click Delete Application. 
Enter the name of the application to confirm deletion. Click Delete. Your application is now being deleted. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel, AWS by Doing, and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing, and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.